1945 as she's just flown home to her bed sit that enshrines her bold activity her makeup due to rain is now running down her feet but there's no shame for the magpie with an ever growing nest but the room is getting smaller as her swag is getting bigger as she lays down her goal she starts scratching at her hand and the claw causes pain and then time will cause the bleed and the latent bird spreads her schizophrenic when she starts to cry she starts to call she starts to cry she starts to call and advance it plans for night time as she's sleeping in the daytime as the dust gathers heavy on the loot that must have been pillaged 20 years ago if not 30 if not 40 it questions on one's mind just how long it could well be before the room becomes a treasure chest of archaeology and leaning more towards the point where she'd be here to see that day she wakes after day from a restless cautious sleep and her eyes are infrared as the check will now begin of the inventory of this glitzy contraband so she picks up right away that crap begins to form along a vase that came from 1285 and the Spring Road as the lights begin to fade in London town she now prepares as she wedges on a stocking with it catching on her claw and spreads her arms which are wings which she never had before and her chest expands to full extent she turns her face into the window the magpie takes a flight and cycles round and round and round and round and round. Down this quiet road, she studied days and end. The timing seems to right, her feathers twitch and now begins the show. And so she falls right down into her knees and looks around, and there he is, the man who lives at 42. She knows he lives alone, and so the magpie goes inside with him to bathe her minor injuries. As he searches for a bandage, whilst concealing his erection, the old bird downstairs that surely would it more than just a plaster. Brings her teeth into a watch that caught her eye. She takes the carrot and embedding this along with 50 pounds inside the small. She takes a flight, she's on the move, he's unaware, he's still upstairs. And she makes a way unto a nest, another gold attention sir, to think that open windows happen here and now this day and age, and cliching her to that dog that stares at his reflection in some river made of bigger bones, this house is made of bigger bones and birds much more than dogs and shameless kleptomaniacs, as the slippery bird begins this apparent free for all, the stirring sound triggers the winds start to stick, start to rise and the aged bear appears but drops a stick in muted fear, as the rising bird is screaming in a not so muted fear, she launches, she attacks, she cries and claws and pecks and paralyzes, seven foot. 45 and she's just flowing home where her bed sit that enshrines her bold activity shot in blue flashing lights that illuminate the room and the magpie cries out louder as the knocks and doors get louder and the shrilling squawking noises come as soon as the door is broken in as Mrs. Janet Gordon fails to recognise her name she seems to chew her wrist and look around as if to start the check and yes the crack is getting bigger on the abbot's very vase and stand these visitors before her. they're the first for 20 years she feels a sense of pride showing that she spreads her feathered arms